Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We have our Moza Racing FSR wheel here on my desk. Uh, that's because we're here to talk about this right here. The data port that is on the back of the FSR wheel that allows this wheel to be used by other third party wheelbases. And the reason I say that is because Moza Racing has sent us this. This is their new universal hub from Moza Racing, which allows you to plug everything into this and one plug into the computer, but also use the FSR wheel on a third party wheelbase, which is what we're gonna do today. But we're gonna take a look at this first. We're gonna open it up. First we have instructions, which we're gonna put over there. And then we have the actual hub itself. So it's a very small, compact little hub. Of course, it's nice aircraft grade aluminum with the Moza Racing on it. And you see on the back side we have pedals, USB, and auxiliary power supply. And we have a spot for the wheelbase, the wheel, the dash, the shifter, and the handbrake. Well, this is going to make everything go into here, and then one plug into the computer, which is going to make so much cleaner, you know, when it comes to uh, cable management and stuff like that wheelbase. But we're here to use this with this on another wheelbase. So also inside the box, of course, we gotta go underneath everything. We have our cables that we will be needing for this. We're gonna get this box out of the way. Of course, you have the USB type C to USB for the auxiliary power. And I believe that according to what I've heard is if you're not using USB 3.0, it may need extra power to run everything. So that's, that's for, of course, you have the standard USB plug that goes into the back to power it into USB and probably into USB 3.0, which it looks like it's the same as our actual wheelbase. So we don't have to unwire our rig, which will be nice. And then you have what you see on a lot of wheels and real race cars. You have the cable. This cable is the cable that is going to go from the FSR wheel into that and then we'll be able to put this on a third-party wheel and this will direct link to the Moza software so with this Moza also sent us this and this is what we do need specifically I just really unwrap that really easily it is their FSR specific adapter for their quick release that will design to be bolted onto any third-party wheel of course, we got some hardware pack in there too. And this is for obviously the quick release system on the back of the FSR. And then this will bolt onto the aftermarket or third party wheelbase. So with that being said, I'm going to unplug all of this and I'm going to move all of this in a safe location because we need this. I'm going to move the FSR wheel because we just so happen to have oh, <laughs> this chunky boy right here, the Camus 15DD, which is what we're going to be using with this hub adapter system. So we got to switch out the front plate, which is going to be simple, easy and put this on. And then after we do that, we're going to get it all hooked up, plug in the system and see how everything works.
All right, so we got the rig all. We got the canvas base canvas software. All right, so we got the canvas software and the Mosa software up. We do have the canvas base on with the uh, FSR specific hub adapter on the canvas base. We have our Mosa wheel. So in theory, all we need to do is take this cable. The hub is underneath here. And once we plug this cable in to the FSR wheel, we get our light tracking and we get the wheel and everything is up and running. We're going to put it on there. And if we take a look back at the desktop, we do have full functionality and everything is working perfectly and correctly. And the cool part about it is it works when it's not even plugged into the base. So, you know, I can do this and the software and everything is still reading everything and it's just by plugging it in so with the way this cable is and it's stretchy phone cable when it rotates around the base it's not really going to cause too much of an issue so everything is working there's not any lag nothing so we're going to go into the game and uh see what we can do with it so we are in i racing so we're going to get this car started make sure everything is working correctly we hold the starter long enough yep display and everything is working correctly we're gonna bump up some traction control here all my knobs are working everything is working correctly how it should so we're gonna go full send in the new uh, BMW here at Daytona pit limiter yep this is such an awesome thing to be able to use this beautiful FSR wheel on another wheelbase because this wheel is just gorgeous and for the price point on this wheel compared to some of its competitor wheels with the same type of features the FSR wheel is beautiful I gotta remember we have cold tires and the fact that now you can use this with any ooh, yep any third-party wheelbase with the adapter is definitely a huge advantage for Moza Racing and this FSR wheel. And I can't thank Moza Racing enough for sending this hub out so that I could rip this FSR wheel on another wheelbase to test out this system and everything like that. So big thank you to them. And of course, also Camus for the 15 dv wheel that i have and i'm using as well connected to this fsr wheel and it's just seamless this hub is making everything perfectly whoop, perfectly seamless without a single issue like absolutely no latency no lag in the wheel it's direct connected to the pc through that box and it's seamlessly just like it was connected to a Moza base which I find is incredible and actually very very awesome so it's a big deal if people want to get say this FSR wheel and use it on say a Sim Magic and out you know uh, Simicube or other direct drive wheel bases that may not offer ooh, a wheel like this and they want this style of a wheel because I know Camus does not offer wheels like this right now and this is just an awesome add-on to the wheel Ooh. but a little lock up there but the fact that what we're going to be able to do with this Ooh. This hub, get a little lost traction there, is seamlessly streamline all of our plugins to wheelbases because I know my R9 it doesn't have uh, any adapters in the back for say handbrake or pedals and everything like that. So I'd be having to run all these cables for all the Mozo equipment and stuff like that if you're running a full Mozo set. Well, now you'll just have the two power cords. I do have the USB and the auxiliary USB going into the PC. You'll just have those two USB ports going into the computer instead of a handbrake one, a pedal one, a wheel one, and all this. Everything will be able to plug into that hub box, which is going to be amazing when it comes to utilizing 
cable management and stuff like that. And I'm just having an absolute blast right now with this FSR wheel. So such an amazing big play for Moza Racing to be able to soon enough there to be able to bring third-party adapter you know wheels and stuff like that is such a big thing with this wheel now if there was a way that they could say put a Bluetooth adapter in it to power up you know all their other wheels and run their other wheels via Bluetooth chip to that hub it would be great but the fact that we can run now this beautiful we're going off track don't die oh <laughs> Well, huh. that happened. <laughs> you knocked your wheels out of alignment. But for sake of reference with everything and this just had no issues, hub bolted right on. And even with, <laughs> it's just crazy to me that this works like this because, you know, real cars, real cars do have stuff like this as well. And the fact that it's still working off is kind of incredible because I've never actually been able to do that so this is actually such a cool thing big thank you to Moza Racing I'll leave all the links in the description box below for you guys to take a look at yourself and as always I thank you guys for coming back and watching I'm Evil Rabbit I'll see you guys on the track